Brooklyn and Miami, y'all go to Scoop Luke hey. to see the peep show and hit some Duke shoot. Uh. Went to Branson back to back, Lex Coop. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Benny Rat, man, out there in New York, man. What up? Hey, bro. I just, I don't even know what to say, man. I just want to let you know, man. I'm a big fan. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fanboy. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. We got Joe Philly in the building, bro. Legend in San Diego, OG in San Diego. Man, <laughs> I'm part sure. of, I've been listening to your music for years, bro. I probably listened to that song even a million times, my guy. Oh, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's a blessing. Just a dope spot. That's what I was just talking about. This shit is live up in here, man. I'm happy to be here. Bro, crazy, man. Yes, it's a surreal moment for me. Really surreal moment for me. Um, but for any story, like I say, man, I appreciate you for everything you're doing. You know what I mean? Uh, you contribute to the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, legend in the building and legend in San Diego and everything. But before we get too deep, bro, um, I just want to get your story, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, how'd you grow up? Oh, man, it's crazy, man. Um, um, I grew up always loving rap music. Like, like, like I've been rapping since probably I was like eight years old, seven, eight years old. Um um, my biggest influences was like back then was like LL Cool J, Run DMC, you know what I mean? No way. Um, yeah, man. And um, it was crazy. I like used to mimic myself out the LL when I was rapping in the mirror, put Kangos on, like, cuz I'm gonna be a rapper, cuz. No way. You know way. what I'm saying? And it was like, and, and so it was like, um, I always had like different influences like Ice Cube and you know what I'm saying? And, Rock Kim and guys like that, you know what I'm saying? Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane? Yeah, you know what okay. I mean? So I just was a um a hip hop connoisseur. Like I like I love all kind of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like like I used to listen to like Audio 2, MC Light. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh like the the guys that was from Philly, like Cool uh Cool C. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh um, you know what I mean? Like I just was was it, this was this is my shit? You know what I mean? Like God must have like he gonna really love this shit because this this is my first love. You know what I'm saying? So being from the West Coast, man, what you had yeah. any influences from like any uh, artists from West Coast that influenced you? Yeah, I mean, um, like the DOC, uh, MC Ren. You know what I'm saying? King T. Uh, um, Damn. Uh, Toddy T. Mixed Master Spade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Man, it's a whole lot of guys in WA, of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Ice T, OG Ice T. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he came with six in the morning, it was a rap. You Dang. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was kicking up dust. You know what I'm saying? So, so my influences go go strong, man. Just basically, really, anything uh, hardcore rap. You know what I'm saying? And even sometimes when it wasn't so hardcore, I still like that type of shit too. Like right. Kwame and Kid and Play. No you way. know what I mean? And Salt and Pepper and, and you know, uh, Herbie, Herbie Love Bug. You know yeah. what I mean? And I love, all, I just love hip hop. You know you what I'm saying? You just love music. Just love yeah. music. Um, Straight up. So what made you start doing music though? What was the, the intro um, to music for you? I felt like, <clears throat> I always wanted to be a a, a, um, a performer, an mm -hmm. artist. I, I always wanted to rock crowds. Okay, you know what I mean. I wanted to um, to excite crowds. You know what I mean. That yeah. was my whole thing. So, um, what first uh, interested me was when I seen Michael Jackson perform at Motown 25th anniversary. Nah, you know what I mean. And when he did the uh, the moonwalk, yeah, and all that shit, I was like about about eight nine years old yeah. at the time, and and um, the way he uh, shocked the crowd, you know what I mean? It, it was like, that shit like brought tears to my eyes as a kid, you know what no I'm saying? No way. And I remember my mom like, what the fuck you got tears in your eyes for? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be no fucking singer, right? but um, I heard Grandmaster Flash, the message. Nah. And that was the first time I heard somebody cuss on a record and he was like at the end they was talking like get in the car get in the car get in the goddamn car <laughs> and it was just said goddamn at the time and back then that was big for the hear on the record you know what i'm saying right this is before gangster rap and all that you know what i mean so when i heard that and heard that story and that beat it was crazy you know what i mean yeah so so it's just man my, I, I just love this shit you know what i mean i love what we do i love how creative black people are let's go to even create something such as hip-hop you know yeah. what I mean? And shout out to everybody that's been putting their foot down. I know it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, I don't give a fuck what they say. I put my foot down and I, I did, you know what I mean? My my contributions, you know what I mean? And they not finna go unnoticed. Y'all got me fucked up. I don't think so, man. Crip. Hey, listen, hey, <laughs> legend in the building, you know Period. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So do you remember your first rhyme? Like any the first like um the first thing that you wrote, bro? I I don't remember the first thing I actually wrote, but I I remember uh 
like I had a homie named Baby Bird out, mm-hmm. out in uh, and when I was living in Portsmouth, Virginia. That's where I was born at. Right. And um, I was actually born in Norfolk, but I, I was in Portsmouth, Virginia, where the projects was, where I was living at. How okay. ironic, the projects was called Lincoln Park Projects. No way. Right? So, um, and my brother still live in Virginia, so they when, when niggas is about to tear the projects down, they mm-hmm. know how how much how much I'm a part of that shit. So they was right. like, bro, they finna tear all this shit down, the tree where you used to jump over and all this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um it, it was crazy, man. Like like that's really where all that hip hop shit came from. That's where I learned how to rap. Okay. That's where all that soul come from. You know yeah. what I mean? All that Virginia shit. Right. You right, feel right. me? So I was happy to bring that to San Diego. And when I came to San Diego as a kid, I was so happy that Cause I came out here on a fucking Greyhound bus. Oh wow! Right, so um, my, our house had burnt down out there. Okay, right. So um, <clears throat> I fucking uh, came out here, and it was in January. You know what I mean? And imagine I'm just coming from cold ass Virginia, yeah, to beautiful ass San Diego, and it's fucking uh, in January. And at night, I remember uh, downtown San Diego and looking down the street when we got here. And it was warm as fuck <laughs> to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I'm like, if shit get bad, nigga, cuz I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? So I was just happy the the change of shit. And I used mm-hmm. to trip. Like, like I know it's climate change and shit now. You know yeah. what I mean? So the weather's kind of different. Like, we really didn't have a lot of nights where it'd be 35 degrees and shit. Now it's like damn near every night in the winter. It's cold in the motherfucker. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it didn't used to be like that. But now it's, it's changing. But... Um, I, I used to I used to like Christmas time when the fucking sun is out and it's a blue sky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we we watching whatever games. You know right. what I mean? We over there on Raven Street at Trish Ann House. We watching whatever game, Super right. Bowl or whatever the fuck going on. Yeah, and you know what I mean? It's crazy. I'm, yeah, man. I don't, so I don't think people really understand like the how how good we have it in San Diego. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, bro, this weather's so amazing. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. But um, and the women too. Oh yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Shout out to all the women out here, man. You know, hey. soft chain. Hey, so I want to get back to your music. So um, yeah. so um, you was making music a long time before your, you know, you blew up with uh, what you're gonna do. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about your music before you know you blowing up. Oh uh, man, um, like like when I think back then, mm-hmm. I wish I would have just stayed by myself making those records and just selling them directly to the motherfuckers because that money was like nothing else. Right, right, right. And 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 my shit was selling like, 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 it was crazy that, um like, back then, nigga was in the gang shit and all that. Right. But it was a lot of fucking Damu supporting me out here Damn. in San Diego, too. Really? You know what I mean? Even though it was some niggas hating, like, nigga, you do that talent show, we're going to kill your motherfucking ass. You know what I <laughs> mean? I'm like, nigga, let's do it. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. But... It was a lot of niggas going in there and supporting the project and mm-hmm. going to buy those motherfucking cassettes back then. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the shit was walking out of Fairmont. You know what I mean? Like that was the hot spot for you, you to sell your music. You know what I mean? So the shit was just, it was it wouldn't stay in the store. You Damn. know what I mean? So I wish I would have kept that motherfucking, that shit. You know what I mean? But if I would have did that, I would never had them big ass soundtracks and shit that I was a part of. Right. And, and being... Uh, Put in the game by the legendary Jam Master J, rest in peace. Damn, you know what I mean. So I look at it both ways. You know what I mean. Like right. I guess God got His own plan. You know what I mean. So right. I signed to a major, and I was able to uh, get on soundtracks that had artists like BB and CC Winans and right. R. Kelly, and you know the top names in music from just being connected with Jam Master J. And he had so much juice with Russell Simmons at the time. Yeah, that I was able to. Uh, get on all these songs and you look at it even on the show soundtrack i was the only motherfucker on two different records mm. on that on that soundtrack Damn. i had my own solo song which was called zoom zooms and wham whams right and then i had a guest appearance on south central cartel's uh song shout out to south central cartel it was uh, me tretch mc8 and us was on that record with them you know what i mean wow so um the and show we did a soundtrack. video for that you know what i mean with bg knockout i think was on there yeah um um so that's where it all started. The Jason's lyric soundtrack, the show soundtrack, and then I put out an album called Take a Ride that had Sherm Stick and Locus on his own. Yeah. Penitentiary Bound, Take a Ride. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You so know. what you gonna do, man? Yeah. You dropped that, you know what I mean? It went nuts, bananas. Yeah. I remember uh 
riding around with that beat, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. for like two weeks. Then, uh, you know, me and Method Man, we go back back to Virginia, you know what I mean? Because when, when I went on a run, when I was on uh, California, when I was on uh, YA parole, right? I had went back to Virginia until I turned twenty one, mm-hmm. and that way they couldn't lock me up, and I got an honorable discharge if I just stay out of the police face until I turned twenty one. Then once I turned twenty one, you can't lock me up no more. So you're the, you're the military. No, no, it's uh, called an honorable discharge. Nigga, I was on parole from oh. from, <laughs> from the youth authority. Nigga, I was never in the army, you know, shit like that. I'm saying it's an honorable okay. discharge, like your ass is in the Marines. Right. I guess that's what they call it. Yes, yeah, my, my dad was a Marine, so that's what they called it. Yeah, so okay. it's a, 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 a dishonorable discharge. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? It's, that's how they call it shit. So, so I stayed out there. I was on a run, but I got off of parole. And now they can't do shit to me. Yeah. Is my point. Right. right? Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's where it all started. You know what I mean? Um, and and it didn't take long. When, after I got out of YA, it didn't take long for me to get some type of uh, notice by somebody that could help me with my career. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. um, like I remember I started doing talent shows out, or not talent shows, but just guest appearances when Jay started hooking it up right. to have me, hey, go perform at this spot, go perform at this spot. So I start, you know, get my feet wet. When was that you know moment though, bro? We knew like, okay, I made it. I'm a superstar. When was that moment? Oh uh, shit! When them, hey, as soon as I got signed, I knew it was on. You know what I mean? Damn. Soon as I, soon as I started doing those soundtracks, mm-hmm. that's shit changed my life. You know right. what I mean? So it was crazy, and, and even with the Jason's lyric movie. Um, they actually played some of the song in the movie. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I used to be telling people, hey, man, when that nigga Tretch got the little Indian figures and shit, that's, when my, <laughs> that's me in the back. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Telling my family and shit like that. So, but um, when, I, when I made like Sherm Stick and shit like that, yeah. and, and, and niggas started like playing my music, I was like, yeah, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when artists like, like the West Side Connection and Dub C was like, hey, nigga, we was bumping your shit on tour. Mac 10 telling me, nigga, we even bump, banging your shit on tour the whole time. You Damn. know what I mean? And then um, when Dub C, C gave me a shout out on that West Side Connection album, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Bitch, be like J.O. Felony, bitch, and take a ride with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I'm on, cuz. You know what I mean? That's so. It, it's just a blessing and the respect that I start getting from other rappers that I look up to. Mm. You know what I mean? Like the Ice Cubes and, and Snoop Dogs and you know what I mean? Guys like that. Um, I, it was it was over. You know what That's I mean? Crazy. So and then to get to work with them, uh, I did the Got Beef record with Snoop and that shit just, you know, took me to another level. That's crazy. You know what I mean? And, and it had uh, that like when we was on the West Coast Up and Smoke tour. Mm-hmm. That was one of the only records that was added to Hot 97 in New York was Got Beef. Right. And Angie Martinez said they added that record because of my verse. No way. You know what I mean? And she said that shit on 106 and Park. And I was like, what? Mm, mm -hmm. And and when I used to see niggas, like I I see a nigga like Ja Rule, he'll be spitting that verse. Nigga, come to get my nine again. You know what I mean? Or or something. So, and then I'll run into rappers like Raekwon or Nas and they be like, hey, nigga, that's Sherm stick. You know what I mean? God, they know. They see you. Legendary guys like that, yeah. you feel me? That that's that's you know crazy on the mic. You know what I'm saying? I, I really respect that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, one thing about it, bro, I I, I took uh, heed from like guys like Ice Cube and them mm. when they rap on people's shit, they right. shit stand out. Mm. So that's why I learned that from. So every time I'm rapping on your shit, um, uh, it's not like I'm even competing with you, but I'm trying to say some shit. That they gonna be like, bro, bro, that dude tripping. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can spit your verse, right? And once I start rapping, it's gonna sound more like an instrument with the beat. If you really mm-hmm. listening to the shit, yeah, smoke some fucking weed and listen to the shit with the music. Really, and you really listening, you'll hear them goddamn instruments bouncing off of my voice. And it's a difference in a nigga just rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the beat, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, how has the, the music in, industry evolved throughout the time? You know, since you've been rapping, uh, I think the internet like made it to where people didn't have to go through waiting to get a contract. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because back then, um, it was like you know that's what it was all about. Everybody was trying to get a contract and get signed to a label, and that's when you feel you made it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And a lot of that went with, back then, a lot of these labels had connections to making films like Def Jam, you know what I mean? Right. They was putting out movies and shit, Nutty Professor and shit like that. So um, 
being independent, you wasn't going to get all those that none of that shit was coming to you. Right, right. So, um, but at the end of the day, um, you can make your own mark. You can make your own fucking movies. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And that's another approach. Like guys took like Death Row and Master P and guys like that. You know what I mean? They took that approach and did it themselves. Which was, you know what I mean? That's why I was saying at the beginning of, of us talking, I wish I would have stayed with that game mm. of selling directly to the consumer. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So now is it easier for, you think it's easier for artists to make it yes. like 10 times easier? Yeah, 100 times easier. You yeah. know what I mean? Because a lot of artists making it and they really ain't got no fucking talent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. just following the sound of everybody sounding the same and your ass be here today. And then mm. three weeks later, it's another motherfucker sound just like you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to keep up with who is who. You know what I'm saying? Because it should sound the same. Back then, I mean, not to take nothing away from nobody because I'm not not saying that it's not a lot of dope shit. Right. I'm just saying that back then, in the past, everybody had their own sound. Yes. And if you came out sounding like a motherfucker, then you're like, bro, you sound like Wooty Woop. Yes. I mean, that shit wouldn't ride like that. Even the labels would be like, you kind of sound too much like this person. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Because like Big Daddy Kane didn't sound like Rakim or, right. you know what I'm saying? Or or Slick Rick didn't sound like fucking Two Live Crew or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It was right. everybody had diversity. You know what I mean? And, and now it's the same fucking beat. You feel me with the auto tune shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying not, you know what I mean some of that shit knocking not to right. say you know you know, a lot of it's not not bumping but it's just the same fucking shit do you think do you think the west coast is stuck in the past the sound of the west coast is stuck in the past um I don't think the sound of the west coast is stuck in the past I just think um we have a certain sound and we don't give a fuck really about nobody else what they think. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We Because we, we're we so big, we really don't need to give a fuck about none of the other rest of the country. We can just keep going around this motherfucker and be successful. Gotcha. You feel me? And I just think, I I think it's a lot of, I think it's a lot of different shit though. I think everybody got still got their own, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of motherfuckers that's from my era that's still dope as fuck. Like right. Sugar Free and Cocaine just put out a new record. You know what I mean? Killing that shit it. is cracking right now. Killing it. You know what I mean? Uh, Exhibit finna come with a new album. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, I think uh, motherfuckers, um, nigga, I heard some new shit Snoop and Dr. Dre got. You know what I mean? That shit is off the chain. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, uh, um, a lot of niggas coming with dope shit and, you know, the newer generation coming with dope shit too. Nigga, I love Kendrick Lamar shit and Schoolboy Q and, you know what I mean? Uh, J Stone, Infant J Stone, you know what yeah. I mean? It's a whole bunch of niggas that be coming with it, you know, but they respect the cloth, you know right, what I mean? Right. Them niggas is cut from the same cloth as us, you feel me? But, so that's the difference. A lot of motherfuckers respect the game and it shows in their music. I seen a lot of dope shit that I like from uh, Chris Brown, Jonah okay. Lucas, you know what I mean? Right. And I'm like, God damn, Chris Brown rapping better than niggas that know how to <laughs> rap and cuz is a singer, you feel me? Right. And I'm like, this nigga rapping better than a lot of motherfucking MCs. You feel me? So it, it's crazy. Like, like you, you, uh, you'll be surprised who you who you uh, listen to and be like, nah, I don't like that. That shit, boo boo. You know what I mean? Like, right. a lot. Of, I like a lot of Lil Wayne shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I feel like he one of the best at it. You know what I mean? The nigga, the nigga's clever with that shit. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. it's just uh, certain MCs. You know what I mean? They they do their shit. You know what I mean? What is your thoughts on San Diego music scene right now? What's your <clears throat> perception on the, the San Diego music scene? Oh uh, man, I think I think it has a a bright future. I mm. think more uh, eyes are starting to you know come this way as far as the people that matter that can take your career to another level mm. um, are willing to give San Diego a shot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, it's a lot of new artists. Uh, that's coming up out here, you know what I'm saying? Whether they be from a hood or not, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of artists that's starting to do their thing, so um, it, I, I think the doors are open, you know what I mean? Wide open, and it's just up to the artists to push their line to get through them doors, you know what I mean? To, to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, when you go outside of San Diego, people don't respect the artists. They're, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people don't respect the artists in San Diego. Why do you think that people outside of San Diego don't respect us? 
when when people talking and they not from out here, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They think this like white people shit. You feel me? Like like they don't know Southeast and East Dago and and, and shit like that right. until they come here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you see it's real as fuck. You know what I mean? And 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 then if you say the wrong shit, you'll fuck around and get get your ass knocked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't no ain't no one thing about Dago, bro, it's like We've been through the shit, and and when people talk, that that means they don't know. If you talk, you really ain't. If you know, you really ain't got to say shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to to even just the history of 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 uh, just being in the street, and the history of 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 the the, the jail shit, right. the penitentiary shit, bro. I got some G homies for show that was running the motherfucking yards and shot callers and shit like that, nigga, mm -hmm. and. I don't give a fuck where you was from, nigga. Them niggas was with the shit shits. Right. You feel me? So, um, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then you would think it's SeaWorld and, and motherfucking the San Diego Zoo until right, right. you bring your ass out here and, and you come to the streets. Right. You know what I mean? So, I understand that because a lot of places, it ain't nothing but ghetto. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so... You would you would get that under that impression, but when you when you look at it, nigga, I put this motherfucker on the map. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And nigga, I go everywhere. It ain't a motherfucking spot I ain't been in L.A. <laughs> right, right. From Watts to the jungles to the fucking '60s, the '40s, nigga, bounty hunters are everywhere. You know what I mean? So I push my motherfucking line. You know what I mean? Even when I was a kid, I was going to L.A. because I knew. San Diego is 100 miles from all these motherfucking stars. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to become a star. So I'm not going to sit here and just keep selling my shit at Fairmark. Right, right, right. I start taking my ass to L.A. with the homies. You know what I mean? Mm. And we would caravan. We have on khaki suits. We have a motherfucking pistol. And <laughs> we going around to these different spots pushing this music and 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 doing shows with motherfuckers. And, and the shit start cracking. Right. You know what I mean? But I wasn't... Uh, ever scared to go push my line and and nigga everybody respected it right you know what i'm saying so i don't get nigga trying to talk down on this motherfucker because um when it comes to the history of history niggas know them sd motherfuckers ain't no joke let's go period Look. From you know Jail Fella himself. Let nigga, him I got homies cuz that I done took that nigga. I got a <laughs> homie named Big Boo, right? Mm -hmm. This big black motherfucker with this Jerry <laughs> Curl nigga. We used to go to LA. Cuz used to tell the security, if you don't move, I'm gonna knock your motherfucking ass out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. That's the type of motherfucker that's out here. Absolutely. You feel me? Like like my homie, my homie Big Bull. Right. Bro, this nigga look like a lion, bro. <laughs> with nobody talking, I don't give a fuck if you was from hell. Yourself right next to the devil. You wouldn't talk in no shit to cuz. Let's go. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, and, and not only that, I know a lot of Damu niggas when I was a kid, them motherfuckers was killers, bro. Like, Absolutely. like, motherfuckers, nigga, I know this Damu nigga that was from Lincoln Park, right? Yeah. And I, I was about 15, <laughs> and it was a street called Delta Street where we used to all sell drugs at, right? Right, right, right. So, nigga, these niggas was crazy, bro. This nigga was like, yeah, man. I took this bitch and I just burnt the motherfucking earlobes <laughs> until they gave us the money and whooped it. Man, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, motherfuckers, boy. And uh, uh, another thing. Yeah. San Diego niggas got squabbles. Oh, Niggas will whoop your motherfucking ass. Let's go. Straight the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas know how to squab, bro. Right, right, You know what right. I'm saying? Niggas got chunkums out here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know me. I... When I have a problem with a motherfucker, I be like, let's get down. But niggas be ready to shoot you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These days, yeah. I, I remember I had a, a, a beef with a with a rapper, right? Yeah, yeah. He a well-known artist from West Coast and shit. I ain't going to say his name. Okay. But we had a little altercation at the House of Blues. And then the next day, we were doing a video with uh, uh, with me, E-40, and Mac-10, and all of us for, um, for Sly Boogie, mm. right? So the nigga wanted to come to the video and he was like, man, I got into it yesterday. I want they and hey, he's at the door. He want to make it cool if it's cool to come in. I'm like, nigga, come in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I wasn't even tripping on you. I'm like, why are you running to the security? <laughs> this nigga say, I heard you had that motherfucking left hook. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I didn't want to catch that motherfucker. You I know what I'm that. saying? Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. But um Damn. 
I don't so, know. So you, know you get that one hit a quitter, huh? Yeah, I've been in YA and shit like okay. that. You know okay. what I'm saying? And Campo and shit. Like, like I learned how to fight from Mike Tyson studying that nigga's how he get down. So yeah. I, I put my twos and my uppercuts <laughs> and shit and my combos together good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, I learned how to knock the wind out of nigga when I hit him in the right spot right here. Oh, okay. The sternum. You know yeah. Uh-oh. Nigga be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying But I don't know man I, I just think man Real motherfuckers Is everywhere That's true And fake ones too That's true You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. So no matter where you at Or how tough you think you is I done seen the toughest Motherfuckers turn snitch Yeah You know what I'm saying I done seen the toughest Motherfuckers get smoked mm. You know what I mean Tough as fuck Right Dead the motherfucker So at the end of the day What all that bullshit matter mm. You feel me That's facts It's about us coming together Yes. Because at the end of the day, we up against it, nigga. We at war with the rest of the world if you don't understand that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. The black man is at war. Everybody's at war with us, I should say. Yes. You know what I mean? And we don't got time to be at war with each other. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So I was a part of the fucking problem a long time. You know what I mean? Yes. Through my music or through whatever, but... I was never really, you know what I'm saying, dissing the motherfucker unless I, I did it directly to them. Right. But I tried to make music that people could have fun with, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and shit like that, you know. Um, but I feel like, you know, guys are maturing and niggas want to see a difference out here in Dago. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Because it's been a lot of... Um, um, a lot of guys out in LA, they be connecting and making music together. Yes. And and, and not not to say they know better because them niggas be gangbanging, goddammit, just like us. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? You're but right. at the end of the day, we all got to mature as men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and, and realize the bigger picture. 100%. You know what I mean? And get back to, 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 to that unity type shit. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, nigga... <laughs> We ain't got that long, nigga. It seemed like shit is just, the walls is closing in. Absolutely. On, on everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially after the pandemic shit. So it's like, man, let's lead by example. You know what I mean? Speaking of unity. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of feedback from a lot of uh, people in San Diego. They want to see the OGs come together. Because mm -hmm. they feel like San Diego is divided. Mm -hmm. So they want to see the Mitchie Slicks, the Jail <laughs> Felonies, the Big Junes, the Damus come together and maybe make a, a, a song or an album. Is that yeah. possible? Is I mean, I feel possible? like that's that's already happening to an extent. You Let's know what go. I mean? like, like, um, Let's go. Like me and Big June, we got a record. It, it ain't released yet. You know what I'm saying? I think I kind of aired it out too much because I, uh, I ain't going to lie. Some niggas scared to get on there after. Like, you got to You can't rap after me. Right. I ain't going to lie. Right. I'm not fucking playing. So mm. whoever else rap, do your fucking rap. You know mm. what I'm saying? But. You ain't gonna have a better verse than me. I, I ain't toot my own horn, but goddamn it, I work hard at this shit, so I'm gonna toot my horn a little bit, goddamn it. I'm yeah. a nigga up three, four, five in the morning thinking of my shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't just get up and get on the mic and say the shit. I think, you know what I mean? That motherfucking rap I said on there, mm -hmm. phew, it's a new game, blow my whistle, no ref. I just saw a lot of death, so I'm take his last breath. Yeah. I won't hit him in the head, he won't get to pass that. Nigga said it come to feds, tell him bitches back back. Um, uno shot kill little nigga Lord forgive me for the blood that I spill little nigga Bigfoot uh. from the hood to the hills little nigga Did I mention I was one shot kill little nigga Let's go Damn. Somebody better call the fucking paramedics I just shot another cop that motherfucker was pathetic gas And bitch yeah all I got is dead and let it Nigga any beef we had motherfucker we can dead it Ain't shit sweet over here nigga like a diabetic Ready for a racist cracker motherfucker I said it Ooh. Been knowing Big June since we was 13 on the 13 bus Nigga seen us see it up Damn Shout out to my boy Joe yeah. Felony in the building. You know what I mean, try to come behind that. Hey, you give him too much. You give him too much. Neighbor, let's go. <laughs> Shout out to Big June. Hey man, my boy Big June. Yeah. I, we had him on here too, man. He spoke highly of you, bro. No doubt. He said you guys had a little beat back in the in the in the past and everything, and you guys, you know, man up like man and uh, came together. He's all about peace right now and, and uh, spreading love and unity. You know, what I'm so he yeah, no highly doubt. But you, e e even back then, we didn't really have no beef. That was some song shit. Okay, because I knew him personally because we was signed to the same motherfucking manager repo rick yeah right so me and big june knew each other i see big june in my hood all the time hustling this music and all that you know yeah. what i mean so it was never no beef like i wanted any type of harm to come to him yeah. you know what i'm saying it was just a song and and really 
I was just showing Dago, nigga, I'm the motherfucker, cuz. Let's go. You know what I mean? I'm finna get a deal with this. So I dissed Big June. It was another motherfucker trying to call itself felony. Mm -hmm. And I actually was in a halfway house with this nigga when I got out <laughs> of uh, YA. Mm -hmm. And I had to go to the halfway house in Emerald Hills, right? Mm -hmm. So he was there. He was a Damu and his name was Felony. And I was like, nah, right. can't be two of them. Let's go. So I aired his ass out too. And there was probably some other nigga. I don't remember who else I dissed. But that piss on your tombstone mm -hmm. was uh, what the song was called. And Cricket made the beat for that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then I had another record called Living for Them Four Things. Mm. And that got me my deal with Jam Master J. So the next thing I did from them two songs was Jason's lyric and the show and how to be a player. And yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Nutty Professor soundtrack. I went in. Right. You know what I mean? Would you say you were like the most successful artist that came out of San Diego? No, I wouldn't say I was the most successful, but I think um, I'm the best fucking rapper we got. Let's go. Period. I ain't going to say I'm the most successful. I think Nick Cannon is the most successful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, that goes, shout out to Nick Cannon. Mm. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I mean? Not to take nothing away from him, but nigga, I'm the MC. I'm, I, just, I just love rap music, my nigga. I, I ain't feel. got no rules. I ain't got no... I ain't in competition with nobody but myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just think... Uh, I have a bright future ahead because um, um, regardless of the politics in the industry or whatever, it's really, I got fans that really love me. You okay. know what I'm saying? And mm. that's who the fuck I'm catering to. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to cater to the new generation, even though I'm definitely going to work with them. And gotcha. I look forward to working with artists that I appreciate in the new generation. But on the real, I'm like, fuck them goddamn kids like Bernie <laughs> Mac. You feel me? I'm concentrating on motherfuckers that been through the struggle with me that love J.O. Felony. Like, I got niggas, hey, bro, your, your music got me through time. Nigga, I was in the hole. All I had was your motherfucking music that got me through this shit. Shit like that. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I'm making music for them and the females too that love Take a Ride. Bullet sing mm. Take a Ride. Yeah, <laughs> them bitches too. I, I, mean, I ain't gonna cut yeah. up y'all know what I'm talking about. I got you. You feel gotcha. me? So, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just having fun. I'm living my life, bro. I put God first. Let's go. I ain't never did no whole shit where I can't look myself in the mirror yeah. and look my kids in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? So, I just thank God for that. Mm. You know what I mean? And, you ain't seen the best of me yet. You know what I mean? And it ain't just about me rapping and all that. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, um, I got films that I'm writing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got some cold shit cracking. Let's go. I got new bomb ass weed coming out. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm just having fun, man, living my life. I'm not uh, giving a damn what nobody else doing. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just in my own world trying to uh, enjoy whatever life on this planet nigga got left. I'm just trying to have fun and enjoy life and make a mark. And uh, keep a, a good energy around me. Yeah. I don't want no drama around me. I don't want no motherfucking body fighting or doing all that stupid shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want motherfuckers around me that got a level head mm -hmm. and got a good energy and ain't, don't come with no baggage and shit. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Keep a good energy and that shit resonates. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you got idiots around, get them out the way. I feel you. Know you. what I'm saying? Gotcha. So you're an artist that had a lot of, uh, a lot of success. You know what I mean? So give me some uh, advice for... These are these up and coming artists who want to be a jail felony. Um, I would tell them um, just enjoy what you do and and um, and, and uh, work hard at it. You know what I'm saying? And make sure uh, that you don't make sure no one plays you uh, uh, f for for less than what you're worth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get everything you deserve out this shit, and, mm. and make sure you're good at it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be no whack motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing whack. Don't make. Don't be no whack ass motherfucker. I don't care if you singing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Have the nerve to ask your friend, "Is this shit good or am I wasting my time?" Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that shit dope. Okay. That's you know what I mean. So what about some trial, trial and tribulation? So what's some things that you've been through in the industry that you can share with us that you can teach people from your experiences? Um. When I got in the game, I got in the game just because I love rapping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I love the art of of putting words together. Mm. I didn't know it was so cutthroat, the, the music business. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't know the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, this is weird. and This shit weird, girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just, I just hope before it's all said and done, 
black people control their own fucking destiny. Mm. Finally, mm. for once. And I'm talking about not just music. I'm talking about anything got to do with entertainment. And I'm not talking about us just being the motherfucker on the field or the motherfucker behind them on the microphone. Yeah. I'm talking about the motherfuckers that's owning the team. You know what I mean? Yeah. A motherfucker that's owning the team, that's owning the, the stadium, that's owning, you know what I mean? We need to own our own shit because for so long, as a people, everybody else is owning our, our talent. Mm -hmm. Everybody's sending money to their own race off our fucking back. Yeah. And I mean, when is it ever going to stop, cuz? Facts. And, and everybody hate us, but everybody want to be us. Mm. Everybody hate us, but everybody's stealing from us. You've been stealing from us since the beginning of fucking time. Mm. When are y'all going to let up off our knee, 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 knee nuts? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And let us do our shit. Mm. I guess never. I guess I guess it'll be like that to the end of time. They always going to seem like they always going to hate us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, look, make a long story short, I be doing funny shit like I be looking real crazy when I go in Sprouts because I know all them Karens in that motherfucker, right? <laughs> so, and, but I order all my shit online, right? So, right. so I have my smoothie, my sandwich or whatever. My shit is already ready to go. The people at the, at the work, I don't give a fuck what ratio is because I ain't no fucking, I don't give a shit. I like all people. Right. So, the people know my real name and everything that work there. So my shit be ready and all these Karens be in a line trying to order the shit. It's <laughs> lunchtime. Everybody in this line trying to order. And I go right to the front looking crazy like I'm not going to y'all out. But I'm not a mean guy. But I just I know when they looking at me like I got a mask on like it's still coronavirus and shit. Right. So they looking at me, my hoodie, my shades and I'm walking fast and I go right to the front. Hey, sir. They like James here. Yeah, you yeah. stuff. They give me my stuff and I know they looking like, why this motherfucker ain't have to stand in line like the rest of us? You know what I'm saying? So it's just funny, man, how how, how life is. I don't never uh I just feel like this, like even with black people, bro, mm. in different certain areas, you really gotta watch your back. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because you never know uh, these how these racist motherfuckers get out. Mm. But with me, people been so mean to us as a people, as a race. I got to make sure you're not a racist before I even give you the common courtesy of a person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I got to make sure you ain't one of them weirdos that hate a motherfucker just because of the color of their skin. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So before I even give you the dignity as a person, I got to make sure that you deserve that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I heard that. I heard that. Joe Philly has spoken to you guys. Damn, that's crazy. Um, for the, So next thing, so what inspires you to keep doing music? So, you know, with your achievements, you accomplished a lot in the in the industry already, but what inspires you and keep you motivated to keep on making music? I think I'm going to break the mold of, of, you know what I'm saying? As a people, we always uh, old ass nigga and shit and all that bullshit. <laughs> old, old head, old nigga call you OG. And it's like, y'all nigga don't even know what OG mean. <laughs> You're called like, like a white boy. Hey, OG, how you doing? <laughs> Cause you, you boy, you feel me? Like niggas don't even know what OG mean or what a or what a OG is. Yeah, a OG ain't just a motherfucker because you're older, mm. nigga. It's some shit behind being an OG. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like come on, cause everybody ain't an OG just because they are older, motherfucker. But I don't know. It's just, we do that to each other, but. Nigga, you see Mick Jagger, this nigga, 90 years old, <laughs> still selling out everything, walking around with them tight jeans on, doing that same dance. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like I'm breaking that mold. You mm -hmm. hear all that new music I played? Yeah. That shit don't sound like my shit from the 90s. It doesn't. It you know doesn't. what I'm saying? I feel I can compete with anything. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and I'm going to show the world. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and shout out to my niggas that's still doing it. The Sugar Freeze, the Cocaine, DJ Quick, the Dog Pound. You know what I mean? It's, it's, this shit don't stop. And I guess now it's the, the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. Hip-hop is still young. So, right. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, we ain't going nowhere. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm, I know I'm not. I'm finna do this shit. I'm finna have fun. And it's just going to be a snowball effect. And I'm going to help as many people that deserve it as I can mm -hmm. along the way. And... That's all I can do. Justice against y'all oppressors. That's what my name stands for. J.O. stands for justice against y'all oppressors. So it ain't just no gang shit. I definitely am with my blackness is Damn. intact. Uh, I didn't know that. A hundred million percent. I did not know that. That's yeah. so, um, so you got some music, new music. Yeah. Speaking of new, new music dropping, let's talk yeah. about that new music. 
Uh, I got a new album coming out. It's probably gonna be a ten song thing, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna drop another ten songs mm -hmm. like, okay. like six months apart from that. Okay, so it'll be a volume one and volume two, uh, and it's called Get Your Feet Whooped. You know, that's the name of my new project. Get, okay, get, get your, your feet, feet whooped. whooped. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be crazy. It's, it's gonna be a, a whole bunch of soul in it. Okay, you know what I mean, all right, a whole bunch of soul. Hey, so give me some standout tracks on that new album that you're gonna be dropping. Um, I say my my favorite song. I think my favorite song I ever made is Gigantor. I don't know why I love that song so much, mm. but I'm going to perform it uh, on the 10th. We have a show coming up. Shout out uh, to Mitchie Slick's going to be on that show as well. Let's go, uh, Mitchie. Shout out to Mac 10 for putting it together. Yeah. Uh, DJ Quick, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Shout out to my nigga Corrupt and Daz. Uh, MC8, you know what I'm saying? The West coming together, man, as we should. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. So uh, I'm going to perform that record there for the first time. Mm. You know what I mean? So any collaborations? Any like standout collaborations going to be on that album? I don't want to say yet. Oh, you know no what I'm exclusiveness. Yeah, Damn. I, I, I don't want to say yet, but but um, no exclusiveness. I, I'll give you exclusive. a hint of one big artist I got okay. on there that, right. that 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 you know what I'm saying is my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, all I'm gonna say is he from Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? That's, Kansas that's City rapper. Saying. Let me think. You know what I'm saying? But this shit is gonna be crazy. Kansas you know what I mean? City rapper. This shit's mm. gonna be crazy. You know man, what I mean? man, I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. Um, so when is this, you know when is uh, this project gonna be dropping? Um, so we can be looking out for it. The first single. Uh, uh, okay, we about to drop in bombing fluid video, right? Ooh, hey, that was nasty. I heard yeah. that one. Ooh, in bombing fluid. Um, like. I didn't even want to diss the nigga that the song came out about because okay. it's like a little kid to me, but you can't say my name playing with me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had to show him this is not what you play with me with. Ooh. You can play with me anything else but this motherfucking microphone. Ooh. So he stepped in my arena and I had to show him Nigga pissing out his fucking booty looking like a dike. I'm so electric. Nigga might need a kite. Black Lives Matter looking k up. Hey, I say Black Lives Matter looking KRS2 looking bitch. Mm. Now, I just want you to know, I didn't disrespect KRS1 to, to fucking boogie down. Okay. I wasn't, I was supposed to say, oh, Me Too movement looking KRS2 looking bitch. And everybody would have <laughs> knew who I was talking about, the bitch from Me Too movement. Oh, Me Too movement looking KRS2 looking bitch. Nigga getting sick of your shit. Damn. Nigga find a seat somewhere and go sit. You can never ever fuck with this real Mitch shit NYA nigga I had to parole from the pit you the same ass nigga that got the little homie hit Ooh. goofy ass nigga try to hit a pawn shop boy when you walk up in that bitch the door lock I miss little cuz should have never been with that lesbian walk up down like pedestrians the little what kind of messy in Damn. you fucking with the best some the best again it's new party they would never ever let you in they would have sent like cuz who the fuck is that you ain't never on my level that's a fucking fact and shout out to the bay I don't play clown goofy ass nigga got a beeper on his leg now come to the totem pole motherfucker way down the play will be play with your kids find a playground weird old baby got nothing to say now you could never spit it like this i got them cave rounds get on your knees you can eat and dick and pray now when it come to four seven i put the pave down sharia heard you talking about me on raven out of bedroom window motherfucker so save it check you in joy's barely about it you wouldn't fess up to it i would have whooped your fucking ass and he knew it nigga probably had one more chance and he blew it boy i'm biggie to you small ass niggas and bomb and fluid i'm biggie to you small ass daniel <laughs> Loco Hey man you bombing fluid video Coming soon I'm gonna do some parts Right here Right there God damn it Then I'm gonna do some parts In Vegas It's probably gonna be All black and white Shout out to LL Cool J Cause mama finna Knock your ass out Bitch <laughs> Yeah Hey you a cold piece bro You a cold piece my guy <laughs> Hey man boy, I, gotta, I gotta put you in the hot seat Before you leave though man I gotta put yeah. you in the hot seat Yeah This is the part of the interview You know We're gonna ask you some questions Unrelated to the music You yeah. know what I'm saying Yeah Um this is gonna be for hey you answer answer don't get in trouble by answering some of this stuff. All right. So question for J O felony. Yeah. Does a woman body count matter? Does a woman body count matter? Damn. <laughs> 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 Not why she <laughs> with me, goddamn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, nah, I don't know what the fuck is I mean, shit. No, nothing matter but the night. You know, no, I'm fucking around. Damn. <laughs> I mean, you know, as a man, you don't want a motherfucker just ran through. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I'm saying? You don't want a motherfucker just ran through because <laughs> you be with the bag, you're going to be like, hey, and all the niggas going to be like, like, cut, well, cut. Like, ooh, look. <laughs> like, ooh, I dodged that bullet. Niggas looking at you like, uh, you feel me? So you don't want a motherfucker just, you know what I'm saying? I know I don't. I no. don't want a motherfucker, nah. 
So, so the, the bad account doesn't matter in your opinion. Yes, it do matter. It does. I'm clowning. <laughs> Goddamn right, that motherfucker matter. You don't want to be the nigga with the big nag. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Yeah, you don't want to be the nigga with the big nag. I love it. I love it. All right, another question for you. Yeah. Can your woman have male friends? So, can your woman have a male friend? No. Okay. Fuck no. Why? There ain't no male friend. Why? Y'all fucking. Who the fuck got a male friend? Huh? The fuck who got a male friend? That's what the bitch gonna tell her nigga. So she can't have any friends. Now that's just my cousin. They ain't gonna even say friend. They gonna put the cousin on it. That's a fact. Cousins fuck too. <laughs> cousins fuck. I ain't fucking my cousin, but cousins fuck. Yeah. That's why they call it kissing cousins. I heard that. That's my cousin. Bitch gonna throw that at you. Yeah. Cause you ain't gonna believe the friend part. That cousin. They try to put that cousin on it. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> One more question for you. Yeah. This is a very important question. What up? Your favorite taco shop in San Diego. My favorite taco shop in San Diego. I just went there. Me and my partners just had a meeting at my favorite taco shop on mm-hmm. El Cajon Boulevard. Mm. My boy Ray's, the owner Ray's. If you're ever in the motherfucking on El Cajon Boulevard and when you get off the freeway, you make that left and you know it's only like one subway. It's in that subway parking lot mm-hmm. where the laundromat. The subway and Rays. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's it. That's the that's the spot right there. All that food good. So, so what you getting? When now you I know there? the owner. So um, I sometimes I get the fish, the whole fish. Mm. Oh, so it's that's like a seafood, like a seafood joint. No, it's 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 a Mexican restaurant. It's okay. got rolled tacos and burritos and all that. Mm-hmm. But at the Mexican spot, some of them cook the whole fish with the head on it. That shit is the bomb. That's my the shit. The whole right fish there. with the head on it. Yeah, the whole fish with the head on it is my special shit I get from there. I heard that. With the uh, you know, all the you know what I mean, rice and stuff with the flour tortillas and the bam with the wiggity on it. Yeah. Stupid fire. Man, that's wanna say try man. out rays if y'all on El Cajon Boulevard. Bro, I'm just I'm a big fan of you, man. Huge fan, bro. You know what I mean? Thank this you, bro. Is, I appreciate that. This interview meant a lot to me, man. You know, oh easy. Hey, you got Appreciate a dope spot here, man. This ain't no, this ain't no lightweight right here, man. This is nice, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to shout my boy Oh Easy too, man, for setting this interview up as well, no too, man. No and, doubt. Um, like I say, man, I've been listening to your music for a long ass time, bro. Um, appreciate what you're doing for the culture, even for San Diego. You know, spending your time here. I know you're a very busy person. You know, thing. Um, do you want to add anything else before we leave? You know, to your fans. Oh uh, man, I just want to say much love and thank all the people that's been supporting me through my ups and downs through my you know what I'm saying my rights and wrongs and uh you know I'm still here I'm blessed you know what I'm saying thank God that uh you know I'm still breathing I'm healthy I'm you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to live and, and enjoy life and and spread a good energy to everybody around me yeah you know what I mean I ain't got no beef with nobody I'm uh I'm enjoying life and uh I just hope y'all doing the same you know what I mean I know it's a lot of uh it's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the time we living in. So mm-hmm. it, it kind of, it's kind of hard to, to find happiness really. You know what I'm saying? Like you really got to be, you know, clamped down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To enjoy life without, you know, letting no one take advantage of you and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Just got to enjoy life and, and keep a, keep of a, a, um, a good circle around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep some good people around you that really, really, uh, give a fuck about you. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts, man. Once again, you guys, man, big handle handle on plug. We got Joe Felony, a real legend. West West. A real cynical legend in the building, yeah. man. Hey, y'all come check me out June 10th. This is my first show back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mac 10. We finna get it in. Bone Thugs and Harmony, Dog Pound, DJ Quick is going down. Mitty Slick, motherfucker, MC8, motherfucker, uh, Spice One. What up, my nigga? Yeah. Let's West, go. West West. And we got Joe Felony in the building. We'll catch you guys next time. Frat. I had to play this song before we leave, man. That's my <laughs> shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Let's go. Hey. 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 I can give it to you, but what you gon' do with it?